spring is an ongoing and unpredictable process. In an interview with JN1, Israeli Ambassador in Buenos Aires Dorit Shavit analyzes the changes taking place in the Middle East, Israel's role in the region and its image abroad, especially in Argentina, home of the largest Jewish community in Latin America. How has the recent Arab Spring rise of Islamist regimes in the Middle East affected the region and Israel's place within it? Israel happens that it's in the eye of the torment, the quietest and the most stable place within this so-called Arab Spring, because in my opinion, the spring has finished long ago, it's uh, more like winter than spring. And the most important thing for us, for the state of Israel, is really, really, really to protect its citizens and to, to defend our borders. And that's the only interference that I can see about Israel. And another thing that for humanitarian reasons, Israel accepted and admitted uh, quite a lot of, uh, quite a number of Syrian uh, uh, injured people to its hospital to be treated because this is the obligation of doctors and of people who really to assist the wounded people. But other than that, Israel doesn't interfere and Israel is not a part of this Arab Spring. But if we talk about the, the Middle East in general, uh, first of all, it started as, as a, an Islamist uh, it's a revolution or something like that. But I think it, it's, uh, first of all, it's, it's like we can compare it to what happened in Europe in the 19th century, that countries really, uh, 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 battled or, or fought for their independence and for, for building a nation. And I think the Arab countries try right now to build a nation and we are in the middle of this process and nobody can say how it finishes and when it finishes. Many commentators believe that Israel is losing the global information war for hearts and minds. What can be done to foster a more positive international perception of Israel? First of all, I would divide between or separate between the image that the, the people have and the image that the governments try to reflect or to, to show to, to the people. Because the, the best thing is really to visit Israel and to see that we are talking about a free country, about a very open society, a very pluralistic society in, in, a, lot of, in a lot of places. And, and we have a lot more to show than the conflict we have to, we, we are talking about industry, we, are talk, we can talk about agriculture, we can talk about art, we can talk about culture. And a lot of people are impressed by these really variety of things that you can see in Israel. The conflict exists. And in that thing, you know, the Palestinian will, will always be the underdog and it's very, very easy to, really to sympathize with the underdog in spite of the fact that it's not such an underdog and they really, they, they, all, they, they are, they, they are involved also in terrorism and other things, but this, this image we cannot change. International organizations and individual artists sometimes planning to visit Israel are targeted by anti-Israeli groups. What would be your message to these people so that they could react to this kind of pressure? Actually, I have the impression that people or organizations who, who try to persuade people not to visit Israel, some, somehow are afraid or are worried that the image that the, these uh, artists will get will be better than these organizations want to show. So that's why they try to boycott this visit, because if, if they think that the image that we'll get will be the same as they have, so why boycott this visit? And as I said before, I mean, the best thing is really to visit Israel, to see Israel, to listen to the people, to see that you're, according to polls, Israeli people are one of the happiest people in the world. Had it been so bad, <laughs> you can answer yourself. <laughs> Argentina has South America's largest Jewish community. How does this impact on the way Argentines perceive Israel and understand uh, what goes on in the country? You know, it is true that the Argentina and a, a, a com community is the biggest in Latin America and Certainly, we as, a, as, an, as an embassy of Israel, of the Jewish state, really, we cooperate very closely with the Jewish community. But the Jewish community, we're talking about Jews who are Argentinian citizens. So sometimes we have different aspects or different interests, but the cooperation is very important. Although Israel is in a region of conflict, Ambassador Dorit Shavit says the country has a lot to offer. This is Monica Yanaki for JN1 in Buenos Aires.